Well, how do there, chum? So we're now on phase five of the Adrift Expedition. It's just going over phase five, which is um, hmm, hold on, it's just found it. Oh yeah, that's just where you claim the stuff. Brilliant. Okay, well I've only got a few badges to go. I've already managed to kill all these sort of horrible flowers. And it seems to be that we've almost scanned all creatures. I just need to scan one more. So is there any red dots in nearby vicinity? Oh, look, there's one right there. Oh, it's, a, it's the worm. I can't scan them. Dang it! All right, well, let's go and have a look off the side of this precipice and let's see if there's any creatures to be scanned around here. Can't believe there's no birds in the sky. When you want creatures, they're fricking everywhere and get in your way. When you do want them, look, there's none. Oh, there you go. There's some. Just took a little while to spawn in, did you? I'm going to scan you as well for the badge pot. Yeah. Kaboom. There we go. Yes. Heck yes. Captain of the Steves. Master of badges. There you go. Brilliant. Excellent. Eh? Brilliant. I, I say master of badges. When I was a youngster, I used to be like a beaver and a cub scout. I wasn't very good at getting badges, to be honest. Right, okay, right, here we go. Let's go on to this one then. Purge the hungering tendrils. Bro, brilliant. I'm on the right planet to do that, aren't I? Okay, so there we are. There's some over there, apparently. 400 used that way. You know what? Rather than use my ship, I'm going to use my new beetly friend. There you go. Hello there, beetly friend. I'll give him a treat, make him happy, give him a pat. Let's ride. Ride like the wind. Here he goes. Lovely. Boom. Take off. Zoom. Okay, go faster. Okay, right. We're nearly at the hundred tendrils. Nearly there. Oh, darn it. It's gone dark, people. Okay. Right, I think we're almost there. Right, now, what I'm probably going to have to do for this to register is go back into my old settings because I tweaked my... Um, combat on planet i need to i think put that to standard right here we go take that in the face boom 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 scatter blaster in the face right what why is the sentinels got angry at me as well ow that's not fair right die okay um and you you're done mate you're freaking done I'd have that. Boom! Okay, reload. Pow! Your snot! Pow! And you! Right, there we go. Is that all of them? We got them all. Take that, you little critters of evil! Boom! There's one more there. Stun! Freaking heck yes! Right, we better get out of here. They're getting angry. We'll dig a hole. And we'll run away. We live another day. There we go. And if I just go like that and restore. Pow, 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 pow. You're not coming in here. Okay, right, there we are. Uh, I, oh, what's wrong one? I want to dig now. Hopefully that swarm will subside in a bit, people. Okay, well, it looks like we've just come out the opposite side anyway. Right, we need to find some more. There's some more over here. Let's go get those ones. Oh, my dice! They're still after me. Where's my beetly friend? There he is. Get me out of here, beetly friend! I guess. Okay. He's quite difficult to steer. I have to pull on his antennas. Yeah, there we go. I'm head this way. Fly, my pretty fly. Okay. Um, he's not flying down the hill. You're freaking useless, aren't you? Okay, right. Let's um, let's do this myself then. Holy fudge! What are you guys just doing there? Okay. I've got some hundred tendrils to go and exterminate people. Wow, these noises on this planet are freaking terrifying, aren't they? I'm kind of getting accustomed to them now, though. They're just part of the ambiance of death and evil on this planet. All right, cool. Here we are. Come on. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. There you are. Ow! Ow! He tried to bite me. You keep those freaking incisors to yourself, mate. And you. Yeah. Get out of it. Yeah. You want some? Pow! That teacher. Pow! We got him. We got him, people. We got him. We'll get one more just for good luck. Uh, that wasn't very lucky for him, though, was it? Right, here we go. Let's, um, let's use the train manipulator. Let's escape from here. Meow. Zoom. Right, where's my ship? I know it's up here somewhere. I, obviously, I can't call it in while I'm still in combat. But you know what? Now that I've done that, I can just go back into here. Change those back to normal. And hopefully, they'll leave me alone. There we are. Done. Excellent. Well, my ship is all the way over there. I could use my flying creature to get me back to my ship. Yeah, I do that. I'll see you back at my ship. Okay, well, I've arrived and located back at my ship. Thanks to my beetly friend. Right, okay. Right, well, let's uh, let's go pop that badge in, shall we? Boom. I guess I have been rewarded for my efforts of murder. Nice. I guess. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, we've got a biscuit. Everybody wants a biscuit. Okay, cool. All right. Um, now what? So we're going to the old expedition. Probe the boundaries. Find a lost traveller. Okay, then. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to craft another one. Of oh, I've got five of those batteries. Lovely. Well, we'll stick down this then. I'm going over. And we're looking for a reality grid glitch. Hold on. I've got surge batteries on my person. I'm fairly sure I have anyway. I mean, what's that when it's not at home then? Oh, that's an advanced ion battery. That's completely different, is it? Okay, all right, fine. Um, well, I'll get rid of that. Surge battery. I c oh, we can only craft one of them. All right, fine. Let's just hope we never need another surge battery as long as we live. Okay, cool. Zoom! Lovely. That base is still there that I reported. Okay, fine. And we're going over that way, apparently. Take that with me. Lock it in. Boom. Get my ship. Let's go. We've got missions to do. I guess we do. Zoom. Ha ha. Would it be nice to get a Captain Steve sound pack for this game? Zoom. Chicka pow pow. Chicka boom boom. Oh yeah. I could do a load of sounds and replace all the game files and release my own mod, couldn't I? become a millionaire now i don't think can you sell mods i don't know if you can i don't know whether anybody would ever actually pay for that though you know what i'm saying there you go let's fly on down then oh no zoom sound effect for being enabled there right i'll see you there people because it could take me a little while mm, if i can hit stop okay it's interesting that it's called this boundary failure when it's actually a grave you know okay now inside of the patch notes or the trailer when they interacted with a grave, it actually had like a weird ship part by it, didn't it? And the actual traveller that appeared wasn't a traveller, but an anomaly. I still haven't seen a grave with a tethered ship part to it yet. Oh look, there we go, now we've got an anomaly. We've got a traveller like you and I. Kazert. This is the first time we've seen one of these at a gravesite. This is quite spectacular. I see you. I see all of... And then he's, he's disabled himself. Like a puppet with no strings. To see this forsaken flicker of an entity, to hear their voice, it startles me. That's exactly what it said the first and on the other one. By the time I understand what I'm seeing, they too have been consumed by static. The only voice I've heard, and it's gone. Is this an illusion, a holographic echo in the noise, or a fragment of some lost reality? It does not matter. They are static now, like everything else. That's exactly the same dialogue we had with the first grave we encountered. That's disappointing. Call out, Kazert, alone. Okay. What is that growling noise? Ah! There's loads of 
beastly dad is trying to bite me. Do one. Boom, boom. Get out of it. Oh no, I've got all slime all over my ship now. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? All right, that was some of their innards have just rolled down the hill. Might as well have those. Yeah, that might come in handy for something. Don't know what, but, you know, who knows. Right. <sighs> done. We've done that, then. Assorted glitches. Okay. What's, what's next on the old menu? Oh, cook your own food. Fishy biscuits and salty juice is going to be the reward. Okay, deploy a nutrient processor, begin cooking. Ingredients can be stored in energy... Blah, 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 blah. Process your raw ingredients into flour and wild yeast and then combine these to make dough. All right, let's, um, let's do that. Ah, look, I haven't got a hermetic plate. All right, fine. Uh, let's go make a hermetic plate then. Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Hermetic seal, where are you? There we go. Done. Right, now let's make one of these things. Done. Now, I did pick some um, some plants earlier, so I think that goes into flour or into wheat, doesn't it? That goes into uh, flour. OK, uh, let's do that. Let's make some flour then. I picked that on the planet in the previous episode, people. It's easy to find. If you haven't got it, though, what you're looking for is something like that. That's ectocactus. We don't want that. So keep looking around. Are you looking for another planty type icon like that? That says heptaloid wheat or something. That's echo cactus. Cactus. But you're looking for one of those that says heptaloid wheat, basically. And that's how I got mine anyway. Okay, cool. Into here. Boom. That's my refined flour. And I can't put it in the access ingredient storage. Why can I not do that? Okay, it looks like I've got to take it out of here to put it into there. To then put it into there. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? We'll put all of my ingredient stuff into here for now. There we go. Oh, can I use that as ingredients as well? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll stick that in there too then. And might as well stick that in there. Might as well save a little bit of storage. And the feces. Why the pudge not? Okay, right. So we've got all that. Put into there. Now what do I need to do? Okay, so I've made flour and wild yeast. Okay. Make wild yeast. Um how am I gonna make wild yeast exactly? Hmm and it's not telling me, is it? It's not giving me an instruction on how to make wild yeast. Mm, okay. Alright. Ah, feceum. I need to just put feceum in there. Okay, cool. Well, I've got feceum. That's just creature poo. Oh, I guess I've got to put that in there. Oh, this is a bit tedious, isn't it? Okay, right. Because it's taken the storage off of the top of here now. That's a bit... Uh, not that. I need the feceum. All right, fine. Feceum. And there it goes. Wild yeast. Okay, that's going to take ages, but I don't want to make a hundred. I only need really, like, what, 17 of it? I've got 17 flowers, so I might as well only... i stop this when it hits at 17, people. Be right back with you. So normally, on this little quick transfer list, normally it would have access ingredient storage. It would have storage here. I don't know why they've taken that out now, but it's it makes it really tedious to do cooking than it used to be. And again, when you go here, there was another pidget for storage. So you could get all of your storage, you know? Anyway, I digress. Let's come out of there. What have we got to do next? So, yeah, I've done that bit. What's next then? Prepare your dough. Okay. So mix the flour and the wild yeast together. Flour. Oh, I've got seven, not 17. Oh, it took 17 seconds to make seven. Sorry, I've got a bit of a dyslexic head, people. I have actually got dyslexia in real life, just as a heads up. Right, anyway, let's um, let's get this done then. Dough. We'll make our dough to make our bread. Okay, right. So there we go. That's over there. So now i got to get this to make my bread, have I? Okay, I'm just going to make sure that I've definitely got to make bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And begin. 
make my bread. Sweet. Look, I think we've done it. I think that's all we needed to do is just make bread. Seriously? That, that's, that's really easy. Okay. Well, that was, that was fun. Okay. Done that then. Okay, well, we've made our own bread. Lovely jubbly. We'll go into the menu and pop that then. Yeah, I've got some fishy biscuits and some salty juice. That sounds really not that appetizing, to be honest, does it? All right. Okay. Hmm. Become serene in the face of infinity. Have we just got to go fly up and encounter another nebula now? That can be done. My God. Let's go. So get out into space like that. After you finish pulsing, and just sort of like go for a bit. Face out into infinity. Don't face towards a planet or something. And then start pulsing, I guess. And if you don't see the countdown like I'm not seeing now, then it's a bit broken. Oh, here we go. It worked. Boom, there we go. One by one, Kazat, the boundaries weaken. Kazat. The Kazat crimson ebbs. Kazat. Begins to fade. Pink communicator. Okay. Well, that was joyous. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alright. Alright, oh, here we go then. Um, hit that. Yep. Yeah. Free from danger and clear of you. Find a moment of... Yeah. Alright. Why is it not telling me to use the L and R, you know, the whole pulsy thing? Gaze towards the stars. 60 seconds. I have no idea what it's telling me to do. I don't know what it's telling me to do at this stage, people. That's a bit different than before, isn't it? Okay, still be calm. Expedition, be calm. Memory fragment. Few details. Objective. Become serene in the face of infinity. Part of Expedition 13, Phase 5. Reward memory fragments. Select other milestones from the Expedition tab. Okay, become serene in the face of infinity. Don't know what I've got to do. Have no idea what I've got to do. Gaze towards the star. Uh, okay. Fine. I don't know what I've got to do there. Right, moving on then. Drift towards eternity. Well, this... What the flying fudge is that all about? Okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this one then first. Really weird. Okay. Any time now. In your own time. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. There is a voice inside me that drives me ever onwards. My voice, my exosuit, something else entirely. It's right most of the time, but not always, not now. I am the pilot, I decide. Now I want to stop, to rest, to take it all in. To dream, to sleep. Dream. Billy, billy, bee, billy, billy, bomb. Dilly, dilly, dee. Kazat! Is that it? There we go. There we go. We've got somnol dust. Brilliant. Okay. Gaze towards the stars. Phone a moment. Mo I don't know what you mean. I honestly don't know what you, you, you mean by gaze towards the stars. I fly towards the space station and see if that's got any meaning or something. I... I have no idea what that means. Do you? I don't know. That doesn't carry on then. Um, I try and work it out um, at the moment. Not a clue. Has it changed in its in its st status? Oh, it's not appearing on the screen now. Be calm. How? It's not going up. Gaze towards the stars. Well, there's a load of stars right there. 
What does it mean? Like, I don't... What about here then? Let's just jump system. Let's let's um. Hold on. Why is it got a Why is it got a rendezvous logo all the way over there? Oh, I still haven't gone to Rendezvous 5, have I? All right, well, let's just go there then. It's a really weird milestone. Right, well, I've arrived at Catered here. I have no idea what it means. Still a small voice. Find a moment of peace. Free from the confines of machinery. What does, it, what does that actually mean? I don't know. I have no idea how to do that one. All right, fine. I'm going to do Rendezvous 5 then. I'm going to go there. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Right, there you go. Head this way. And it's an airless planet. The hello of the games. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, chums. I actually had to jump onto Reddit to find how to do this freaking mission. There's freaking heck. Basically, you have to go to the dark side of a planet. You can see there, that's the night side of the planet. And look up at the night sky. For 60 seconds. So I'm flying towards the rendezvous planet. I'm just going to fly to the night side. Let's see if it applies to any planet. Let's just fly down onto here. I would have never have worked that out. No, never. Um, call me stupid. Call me dumb. But that that really didn't make any sense to me. At all. No, I'll just land here. Let's do it. Okay, that's a mountain. Oh, fudge and heck. Alright, I'll land down in this crater then. If that is a crater, I don't know whether I'm looking up or down. There we are. Landing. Right. And now let's just select this one. There we go, look at that. Huh? Okay, now it's counting. Yeah, 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 stop telling me about extreme conditions. Okay, cool. Oh, leave it on screen. There we go. This is supposed to be calming, but I'm, I'm watching that like a hawk, just in case it comes up with my extreme conditions and all that sort of monitoring malarkey. Oh, isn't it peaceful there? There we are. That's just 60 seconds of your life. You're never going to get back again. But it is quite beautiful. The night sky in no man's sky. I guess. Apart from we're going to hear the roaring of creatures in the background. The majestic worms that apparently are going to cause more danger if you read the patch notes. But actually don't do anything. Boom. We've done it. There you are, people. That's how you achieve serenity. Well, that was probably the most frustrating milestone, mainly because of the way it's written, and it gives you no real clues. I mean, actually, the badge shows somebody looking at stars. All right, the clues in the picture, people. There you go. Thank you, Reddit. Right, okay, let's take to the sky then. Let's go to the rendezvous point, which isn't far. Okay, cool. Just got to go around the opposite side of this planet now. Zoom, I guess. Spin it around. Lock on on. And head on over. I'll see you there. Okay, people. I was looking for a building or something of interest or comms balls or something. I couldn't see anything. And it's landed me on this piece of a mountain. Now, I did get hit on up by Eugene. Eugene, also known as Santos. And he said to me, Captain Steve, Waypoint 5... Is hideous to get to. Ah, okay, and there's no sweep scanner. Look, the sweep scanner's not doing anything. And look, it's pointing under the ground again. And it says approximate location. All right, well, we're going to head towards that approximate location. But I'm fairly sure it's going to send me to this crevice of this mountain. And then I'm going to have to climb all the way back up again to find where I'm going to. I bet you. Bet you. Because this is approximate location. Oh, my days. Yeah. This is not going to be fun, is it? 
So the last couple of milestones in five, I would say, aren't difficult. The only thing that makes them difficult is the game itself. Okay, there we go. Look, it's going to point me back up the freaking mountain, just as I thought. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call out my flying creature. I'm going to ride him. Because when you're riding them, look, you can still use your sweep scanner. And I'm not going to have any problems with the mountain now that I'm on the back of my little beetly mate. There we go. Got to go this way slightly. Might as well stay in sweep scanner mode. Oh, this way. Oh, yeah. You can't use the run button. It just zooms. So this is going to be a really long, audious journey. But not half as audious as if I was on foot, people. Okay. Right, I'll follow this. I'll let you know when I've got close. Chums, I think I can see where I've got to get to. You see that crevice in this mountain? I think I can see a load of little comms boards. There's little glittery stuff up there. It's going to take me a while to fly there. Let's um, let's see if I can speed this up a bit by using the run button on my beetly friend. Go, beetly dude. Go. Fly like the wind. Look, there's comms balls here as well. All the way down this mountain. Fly up the mountain. Come on. You know you want to. Come on, little beetle. You can do it. Come on, mate. Up we go. Heck yeah. Fly. Like the wind. There we go. We've reached where we need to be. Hiya! And we're at rendezvous five. Heck yes! And there's another little shuttle ship here that nobody would ever want. Oh my days, that's a hideous ship. Okay, right. We've arrived, located. Brilliant! Yay, Oz! Ha ha! We did it! Okay, let's claim that. Inventory's full. We claim this then. Yes! We've got the drift posters and decals and all that sort of loveliness. Cool. And um, I better see to my inventory quickly. Let's um, go in here. And I get rid of. Might as well get rid of that. Um, mm, stick that in there then. Boom. Not really bothered about the biscuits. I'll eat them. There we go. Okay, right. That should be enough to claim this badge. There we go. Planetary chart. Quadmented. Why do I need that? Gave me 300 quicksilver though. That's, that's quite lovely. All right. And then if we go to the last page of our expedition here and hit these. Bump, 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 bump. And then hit that. Oh, I am Vulture. Compare. Claim free ship. And we've completed the expedition, eh? Except to Mondo. Done. Let's call in the old ship, shall we? Here it comes. Oh, doesn't it look awesome? Let's take on off on this thing, shall we? Boom. Up through the atmosphere. Brilliant day! Let's have a look at it from another view, shall we? Let's go into this view. Right there. Okay. It hasn't really got the animations that it showed in the... Um... Yeah, it had all, like, blue things and stuff in, in the trailer. Huh? Right, we'll call in the old Nexus then. Meow. We'll fly on in. Yeah, and all like blue pulses and things. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this communique coming in from the lost? The lost and abandoned concert will become dissonant. Okay. A signal in the noise will unite those who roam alone. Ping communicator. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. What the fudge was that all about? Anyway, we're heading into the old space anomaly. And we're going to go and um, make sure my save goes back to a normal save. There we are. Heading into here. Go land the ship inside. Expedition is complete. Return to the space anomaly. And go to the expedition terminus. So you have to do this step to complete off everything because at the moment look I'm not my legacy character am I you know 
So you have to head on over to this terminal. This is a, a step that we didn't used to have to do on other expeditions. If you or if you fired it up from the main title screen. Head on over here. Boom. And end expedition. I mean you can you can put stuff in here. Well, take that back. And then I can choose all the things that I want to bring back with me from inside of here. Um, yeah, give me a second. Something to note, people, if you're not seeing your full inventory, it's because you've just claimed the new ship. So you need all the stuff that's on your old ship, which is all of this. So you go, I'll have my walker brain back, please. Now I put a load of stuff in that I really didn't need on this, like these bulkheads. I put all of my spare bulkheads in there. So I want those back if I ever should, you know, and, and this salvage data, might as well grab that. Just in case they add new base parts in and I need it. Or if I get a new multi-tool, I might want all of these, you know. So yeah, yeah, make sure you're on the right ship. Okay, chums, well, I think that's everything that I want to take back. And then I just hit end expedition. There we go. And accept. And here you go. It tallies up everything that I've done. I like this. This is cool. Like yours. Brilliant. Lovely. Yeah, I learnt six words. <laughs> Pretty clever stuff, isn't it? Wow, I've got 1,500 Quicksilver so far and 11,000 Nanites. This is awesome. Cool. Ha ha ha! Done. Finish expedition. Now it should come up with a save screen like that. And then we'll be back into my legacy save. Okay, now I'm back in my legacy save. If I do want to claim any of that stuff, I can go back over to this console and go grab it. So let's go grab all that stuff that I just stuck in the console. There you go. There it all is there. Love that. I'll stick it on my freighter, I think, people. Sure, it'll become in handy for something at some point. Let's just put these inside my freighter. Because they're sort of freighter related anyway. I'm going to have to look for a ship that I want to replace. That's going to be a fun one. I like all my ships. And to be honest, that, that hauler, as cool as it is, everybody's going to be flying around in it, aren't they? I think Hello Games needs to give us some more ship slots at this stage, especially since we can create our own custom ships. And the fact that, you know, they're giving us ships still as rewards. I mean, we've got the Starboard Runner. Now we just got this one. That That's two ship slots gone. And, you know, it, it, it's a bit mental, isn't it? I mean, I can hit Create Starship there. But I went and changed my ship over. I should have changed it back again. Then I might have been able to create the starship and bring it back in and also claim it. So then I would have had two. So I could have scrapped one and kept one, you know. Let's go on over to the Elder Expedition guy. And collect, collect Expedition Rewards. And I can collect that, that. I don't think I've got, I don't think I've got a free slip sh yeah, look, all I, all I can do is exchange, and I don't want to exchange it for the Starborn Runner. So I won't do that just yet. I'd have to come back. But we, we need more ship slots, basically. Expedition Rewards. Claim that. Claim that. I can't, because my frigate fleet is full. So I need to do that. That, 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 that. Nice. So we've got all of those. Yeah, cool. So I need to go and clear a slot out if I do want that in my frigate fleet. But to be honest, I don't overly like it. No. Um, I do want that, though. But like I say, everybody's going to be flying them around. So, yeah, I might go get it for a bit. One second. I'll go and sort out what ship I want to scrap. I won't be long. Okay, decision made. I'm going to scrap this one. Um, mainly because this one is one that I built anyway. And I haven't done anything with it. It's just an S-Class. Not done anything with it at all. Um, yeah, I could take that out, I suppose. Good night if I wanted to, but no. That'll do. I'll just exchange it for that. Okay? And, uh, yeah. Hello, games. If you're watching, please give us maybe an additional, I don't know, six more ship slots. Might be nice. So we can actually make use of the ship customization. 
Right, okay, here we go. Let's go in it and let's go and claim the uh, ship. I've already dis I've already got rid of my golden vector because I wanted the space. No, yeah, I go claim that. Compare. And yeah, I'm exchanging it for that hybrid one that I built. Exchange. There we go. And there we are. We've got it inside of my normal save, inside of my legacy save. Excellent, eh? I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, but then I might even just take it for a quick little flight and see if the um, engine animations actually happen. There you go. It's made a save. Let's take it for a spin then. Yeah, look, there's no, there's none of that blue stuff going on, like in the video. Ah, okay. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's to do with the, um, the trails that are on it right now. Let's just go into the old starship then. And let's just get rid of that for a second. Store technology. Let's take that out. Now am I going to see it do its groovy thing? No. I don't know why, but Hello Games, whatever you've done, it hasn't got its awesome effects like it should have. Nah. Darn it! Yeah, I wanted to have the um, the awesomeness type stuff going on, like in the in the in the video. All right, fine. What color is this exactly? Anyway, it is sort of like. It's almost black, red and white. It matches my logo colours already. I'm fairly happy with that in this colour scheme, to be honest. Okay. Starship, is there anything else that might be stopping it from having its groovy animation? No. How weird is that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, let's go into the Starship then. What one would it be? Would it be that one? Probably. Let's see if that changes it. I was hoping to see the fans do loads of groovy stuff. No, they're not doing anything groovy. I don't know how to make it groovy like as in the video. But um, yeah, it's, it's still a cool ship. It's still a very lovely ship. I don't even think I like those light trails on it anyway. All right, well, I'll probably work out how to do that at some point anyway. I'll, I'll stick those ones back in. They're quite cool, the splattery ones, anyway. Well, there we go, people. I've completed all five phases of the expedition, claimed my rewards inside of my legacy save. Hopefully you can follow that along at home. And if you do know how to make it look as awesome as it did inside of that trailer with all the pulsating stuff going on with the engines, let me know, that'd be lovely. Sound up in the comments. First person that does, I'll pin it. Okay, lovely. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.